Hey guys, Rodney McClure, Ace Window Tinting. I'm gonna do a couple of things in this video. It's gonna be broken up into some segments, but a couple of them are just gonna cover some concerns from some people. This is a laminated glass. I don't like to put a razor blade on it, so I'm gonna use our safe prep blade, which reaches way up behind the seal. This thing is super hard nylon plastic. You can cover a whole lot more ground with this than you can a razor blade. And yes, you can use it to take glue off a window after you've pulled the film off with the right adhesive remover. And no, it's not designed to take film off. And two things, contamination control is one of the most important things in with the and application it don't. So if you're gonna scrape, even with a razor blade, use it like a squeegee. Push every bit of this stuff all the way down to the bottom. Now, if I was a speed tenor, I would be flying through this and I would show you nothing other than how fast I am at doing a job that can be completed just as quick or thereabouts in an almost perfect manner. Now this is a uh, link to with a 79 durometer judge blade in it. I like to squeeze you and cover the whole glass like this, pulling all the water down to the bottom, just like this. I'm not rolling this window back up because I've done, got the top prepped and ready. I'll come back up like this. As this is a laminated glass, I'm gonna follow across through there and catch what little bit of solution may be up top. I'll then have the ability to flush this. I'm gonna apply the film. And when you install a laminated, uh, tin on a laminated glass, you have to use extra caution. If you're using any kind of heat, heat gun, torch or anything around it, because it's like a windshield, only each pane of glass or layer is much thinner. So in that aspect, you can have serious repercussions if you heat it too much in one spot, especially on the outside. So what I tend to do, if I've got to bond a piece of film, I will lay the film, get it where I want it. And then I'll put a little heat on top of the film to help start the setting process of the adhesive. This is a link to with a sledgehammer blade in it. If I, when I'm squeezing, I start the center and work my way out. You notice I'm not, some people will take a squeegee. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about after I get through doing this. And you know, if it works for you, fine. But I don't ever see that person that's doing this give you a close up of the outside of that window when they're through to show you how much trash they back flushed or injected up under the film by taking a handle squeegee and crammed it up in there. I'm taking this a little bit of time, getting that up in there because if you do slam it, cram it up in there, what you're looking at doing is putting a lot of pressure on the water, squirting it out from behind the film and then back flushing any trash that's in that seal back up under the film. Every one of these tools that I'm using is a custom modified or specifically modified tool by me for my personal stash. Some of them we have transfer it over to the site for folks to get. This is a custom built too with a, uh, a polymer spine. You can see how it's arced like this. That is by design. It's an aluminum handle. We have them in stainless steel. There's some controversy about this and I'm gonna address that in a minute too, but I'm gonna take this. So get on the side over here, Harley. And look like this angle. Y'all see how that's not touching the, the glass? You know when you got enough pressure on it. Get back over there. When you push it down and it seats flat, 
and you know you got the exact amount of pressure you need to make this work. And if you look in front of this thing at all the water, it's moving, show them this, these puddles here. You'll see them puddle up. When I get done doing this, you'll see them over here on the side before I run them down. Again, I'm not taking this and slamming it and jamming it up in there. You know, it's like you drive your car and you cruise around in it, use it from A to B as a commuter car. That car is gonna last you twice as long as it does. If every time you get in that car, you take off spinning the tires and stop sliding them. And that's what these people remind me of. It takes a squeegee and just rams the hell out of it up into something. But I'm, I'm gonna, I wanna show you that to show you just how goofy it looks compared to this. You see what I'm doing? This window's still dry. anything else to it. Now I'm going to take this tool one more time and go down like this. Same thing over here. Now, stay right there. Before I put this one to, this is what I was telling you about a laminated glass. You do not want to heat it enough on the outside to try to transfer heat through one pane of glass through the plastic insulator and then into this other glass to make this bond. When you do that, what's gonna happen? That outside is gonna be so hot, you risk the possibility of cracking that glass. So I just take this thing, heat the inside of the film, I put my hand on it. When I feel it get, you know, decent temperature. I can't tell you what the temperature is. I guess it could if I put an infrared thermometer on it, but you just know when you've done it enough when it's going to start to bond. And that's pretty good right there. Anytime you're working with the edge of the glass, you push up past it, lift the squeegee. You don't drag it back down. You'll roll the film, pull trash into it. Or better yet, if you've got a rubber squeegee, you can cut the edge of the squeegee. Then you'll go, oh, my squeegee nick. No, you nicked your squeegee. Your squeegee didn't have a damn thing to do with it other than it was helping you perform the act that you're supposed to be doing. You just done it recklessly. So. Now, mind you, there's enough film on that to shave that edge, but with it dried like that, we can get it up into the window without any issue. Now, again, when I'm doing one of these, you see these fingers? Once I've got that bonded, this is called, what, we used to call it slamming the film. It was what, like what I call cheating the fingers. I'm gonna take my hand and a rag, watch these lay flat when I push. See them drop down? Take your squeegee, work it from the center to the corner. And when you release that film, same thing over here. It has pulled it, stretched it, whatever you wanna call it, into that corner. Just like that. Now, again, I'm gonna take this roll-up extraction combo with the sledgehammer blade. I'm gonna push all this over here, just like this. You will not find another squeegee on the market that will extract as much solution from between the film and the glass than this one I got in my hand. Now, some people say they're afraid they're gonna scratch the glass with this. I, I don't know how. You see how this right here is shaped? I don't know how you would get this onto the glass to scratch it. You might do it with this, but I don't see how you do it the other way because there's nothing to do it. And these bolts, they're, they're recessed completely past this piece here. Now, there is a possibility if you're that guy that beats the hell out of his tools or drives his car wide open. He might be that guy that does some stupid shit and causes that to happen. And I show you where that might be at. Now, this one is made to either drag backwards or forward, whichever way you want to go. But you always go up past the edge of your glass. Now you see what I'm doing here? Even like this. Now, I just want, as soon as the tip goes by it, you're good. 
There's no reason in this world for you to take this and go like this right here and jam it past it and think this might hit it. And it very well be the case. But you could tear it up with any squeegee if you do that. Why would you want to do that? I mean, there's, there's no reason to do any more than this right here to get that water out. Unless, you know, the other side, right up on it. Because you know why? You figure it out. We're not ashamed of what we do at all. We know what we do, and we do it right. And we try to do stuff to help everybody in the industry, not just one. Even that person, this is a rolling train wreck. We even try to help them out. But some people just won't listen. Y'all seen that? We didn't do anything. Didn't flip the camera, didn't turn it off, didn't do nothing. You give them a good close up all the way around that thing, every bit. Because I am that guy. I will show you what we do and what we can do. And there's a reason why we can charge what we charge and a reason why our film stays on the glass. And there's a reason why we get voted number one 12 years in a row. It ain't because we bullshit, it's because we tell you the truth. So the myth that you, you can mess up a window with anything, but that this right here is dangerous to use Someone's just full of shit and don't know how to use it. Now, if you turn it backwards like this, oh yeah, you can do it. But I shouldn't have to put an arrow here that says this side forward, this side down. Come on, guys. Don't be that guy. If you've not used it, you're missing out. If you have used it, tell us how you love the way it works. If you have a problem with us, let us know. We'll give you money back because there's somebody out there waiting in line to get it. They sell out fast as we make them. This one is... Uh, not powder coated, it's a polished aluminum. It looks good, works, gets the job done. So anyway, that's enough of that. I'm gonna finish this baby off and uh, good, thank you.